The team is regaining lost opportunities to disarm internal bandages. So hear it very careful. And the test is Luke chapter 19, verses 1 to 10. Now I'm reading. Then Jesus entered and passed through Jericho. Hallelujah. Now behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus who was a thief, tax collector, and he was rich. And he sought to see who Jesus, uh, Jesus was. I want you to take note of the word he sought to see or seek. 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 He sought to see who Jesus was. Now that is a diligent seeking. When you are diligently seeking for something, diligently you seek for something is very very important so but could not because of the crowd he was of short stature now apart from the crowd these are some of the barriers first he shot and then second one because of his stature. now i've heard people saying that they are afraid of heights Height. So this is a picture of people who tell you I'm afraid of height. But in this light, you have to climb, you know. When you don't climb, you don't see. You need to have contact with right people. Connection. You have to connect with people. So these are some of the nuggets of what? Of new opportunities that we create. Because it don't come to you, you have to go. Verse 4, so he ran ahead and climbed up. I like the word climbing up. That is where the opportunities come. You have to climb. Climb what? Up. A sycamore tree to see him. Who is that him? Jesus. For he was going to pass that way. That is a good timing. And verse 5, and when Jesus came to the place, he looked up. You see? So it was Zacchaeus. Zacchaeus climbing. That caused Jesus to look up. So these are some of the things in scriptures that we tend to overlook. You see? It is only when you seek that Jesus looked. It is when you climb that Jesus looked. So it's a very key word word of opportunity you see and jesus looked up and saw him and said to him Zacchaeus, make haste and come down for today i must stay at your house so he made haste came down and received him joyfully but when they saw it so this is where the community comes in to become a barrier to you when they saw it they all complained saying he has gone to be a guest with a man who is a sinner. Of course, Zacchaeus was what? Was a tax collector. And, you know, those days, if you're a tax collector, um, the community normally don't like you because you work with the IRS. We know at times what the IRS does to us. And so this is a man who need that relentless seeking that who needs diligently seeking who needs perseverance to penetrate to go to jesus penetrate penetrate because now after he came down something that seems to be a barrier within him is now overcome and how did he overcome it he overcame it because of the Climbing the tree. That is his effort, you know. But this time, he's about to show up to come to Jesus. The crowd. The crowd. Now the crowd have become a barrier. This time from the Pharisees. So there's this whole lot of things and all those things. So that is how it is. So you have to watch some of these things. And so he made haste and came down and received him joyfully. But... When they saw it, they all complained, saying, he has gone to be 
a guest with a man who is a sinner. Then Zacchaeus stood and said to the Lord, Look, Lord, the reason why they are complaining, Zacchaeus is going to make amends. He says, I give half of my goods to the poor. And if I have stolen anything from anyone else, by false accusation, I restore fourfold. And Jesus said to him, Today, salvation has come to this house because he also is a son of Abraham. Now take note of it. For the son of man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. So here, one thing I want you to understand is that Zacchaeus had to climb the tree for Jesus to see him. He was short, but no fear of heights. Secondly, what motivated him is the tree as an opportunity. And so, I want you to look at your life and begin to consider what have been some of the missed opportunities in your life, missed opportunities in your past. Are there opportunities that came your way and passed you by because you weren't alert, you weren't focused to notice them or because something made you kept you from acting? So this is the first key. Now, when you look at the Zacchaeus show us something more, you got to be willing to look foolish sometimes in order to position yourself. You got to be foolish. Sometimes you have to be stupid. See, that's why the Lord says you need a childlike faith. Faith. So this is something like a childlike faith, a reminiscent of a childlike faith. So as we started reading, you begin to see how undignified Zacchaeus must have looked. A rich, rich person, little man sitting in that tree. So if the Lord noticed a short, sinful outcast for doing whatever he took to position himself, then you and I can be sure he's watching when you take very important action, right? To seek his will for your life. So you may be too short. I don't know. Some of you, it's not because you are too short, but because of lack of self-esteem, lack of, you have that, this fear in you. You have, it's, it's the way you were brought up. Some of us, the, our upbringing, the way we were brought up, you know, and that have been a problem. At times I see some of my church members, the way they were brought up. You see, I pity them. See, I pity them because it, it becomes so difficult for you to make inroads into opportunity that exist in this nation. And if you are not very careful, this will go on and go on, and then it will paralyze you. You see? So, as I said, you may be too short where you are today to find God's way for you tomorrow. But you have to climb up, you know, on something and look for your life. You have to climb up. Zacchaeus was so short that he couldn't look over his life. He took this tree that he climbed to look over his life. And so the question that we have to ask ourselves is that sometimes, what are some of the directions that comes your way? Sometimes. Uh, do you have that courage to step out into something that will bring you into contact with people who, as I said, do seem to have direction. Number one, or yeah, something like number two or number three. You need to step out, step out, move into people, enter into people's domain, places, people who have opportunities. Because they themselves are looking for similar opportunities in order to connect with. And so this is some of the things you are lacking in the Ghanaian community. It's very, very important. So if you stop walking, it won't take long for other paths to catch your eye. Yeah, because listen, that is what happens. Quite remember when we went to Williamstown, when we decided to start the project and they realized that we don't have any structure on the land, you know, to, you know, help us to, 
I mean, the structures in their life as a habitation for us. We started walking. We started walking around. We decided to walk. Some took the other path. We too took the other. And then just around us, we discover a particular, uh, what they call it, is it something like um, a retreat center over there. And then we went in. And then that place served as a springboard for bigger things. So if you don't walk, you have to keep walking. See? You have to keep, keep walking. I was there when one of my church members came and told me, he says, I've been seeking. I said, what is this I've been seeking? I've been looking around. And now I've realized that I've had a new job. It's a new job. I said, really? You see, yeah. You see, God willing, I'll be starting it today. I say, wow. So that is what it is in America. Walk sick. Don't stay in that job. One place, staying and staying and staying. And then you come here praying and praying. You don't have any new concerns. You don't have any new prayer to pray upon. You see? So you have to climb, climb, seek. Seek new opportunities. You need to seek those new opportunities. It's very, very important. And start walking because you'll never see them if you don't step out and connect. And at times, you have to research. You know, recently I've had to advise some people, go, go into your business. Go into your job, job place. Go, start seeking, searching. There are certain benefits there that you don't know. Seek. And then she starts seeking and realizes that there are a whole lot of benefits that even she didn't know. You see? Because they won't tell you. So you have to seek. You have to seek. 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 And determine what you care about and connect with it. What do you care? You see, for me, I care about always preparing messages to connect it with people. I could hear people calling me, telling me that I've been blessed with this message. God touched me through this message. So that is my connection. My connection is always, because that is an opportunity for me. So you need to connect, connect, connect. You see, what, what do you think in your own life determines what you care? You have to, you see, you can't just be walking around not caring about, care about something. Because that caring, that caring is what is going to give you the capacity to move forward, be fruitful and prosper. And you have to take opportunity to, to explore new career and relationship possibilities. So then not fear. Fear is it's the number one problem in our family. Fear of your inadequacies holding you back. Tell your neighbor, this is your year. This is your year. 2022. 2022. To climb up. Climb up. On, a new on a new face. That can take you where? That can take you, where? you have never gone before. Have never gone before. To, do to do what you have never done before. So don't let your stature. So don't let your stature. Listen, if you don't let your credit, your, your credit ratings, don't let it. Your credit ratings, don't let it. Don't let your even your color. Amen. Amen. Don't, 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 don't let anything keep you from climbing. Don't let it. One of the things that I've overcome among my people is that God spoke to me, say, You are too big to fight with unnecessary enemies. Leave them. Don't don't do that. Because some of the people I see that intellectually, they are loose. I mean, you don't spend your time. You see, if you want to argue with people, argue with people who are intellectually sound, so that what come out of them, you listen to them. Are you with me? So when I see them making up stories and some of you going up, I pity you. Because my goal is so far. Are you with me? So make sure you don't do that. You know, when these guys took these people away from me, the Lord spoke to me. He says, no, 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 no. Life. Life itself. 
you see, will battle against their destiny. You know that? You know that when something doesn't belong to you and then you take it, life will battle against your destiny. So don't add your name to the list. Are you with me? Are you getting it? Listen, allow life itself to battle against them. Don't add your name to those lists so that you'll be part of the battling process. No, leave it because life doesn't give opportunity for you to enter into somebody's domain and steal. But when you do that, no. Are you with me? Now, let me tell you something. Life doesn't allow you to enter into somebody's life and destroy that person's life. When you do that, all your generation do just vanish. That's why witchcraft is not a good thing. Singing a message. That is life principle. We see the Bible. 